So I would like to introduce the queen, uh, newcomer, Nubia Styles. Welcome to the show, Queen. How you doing? Yo, it's good, my friend. I'm doing uh, really good, man. Just uh, here chilling and uh, prepping for my battle and, you know, just working and doing what I got to do. How are you doing? Hey, I'm great. I'm doing the same thing, you know what I mean? Uh, I appreciate you coming on the show. What I really appreciate about, I didn't have to wait like a week or two weeks to get a response. I appreciate that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I know as much time, as many as these niggas be on their social media, there's alerts to show that you have messages. Period. So, and you get notifications to those alerts. <laughs> so it's like, come on, <laughs> man, you could, yeah. it can, yeah, can you even people look be at like, the, look at it, like, come on. That's just crazy to me. But thank you for uh, responding. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm trying to get everybody that's on this card. I'm trying to do some promo for um, Alcatraz and LABG. Uh, And plus, coffee is on that card. Um, You know, I rock with Mafia. You know what I mean? So, um, let me ask you this. What, um, I've seen your battle. I've seen, uh, how many battles you got so far? Let me ask that first. Uh, Okay, so this is my first battle in uh in this type of scenario i have done uh, ch- uh freestyle competitions um all over san diego i won i won multiple of them um the thing is uh this is my first uh official battle you know without a beat type thing this is a whole different okay. lane for me uh i had a i had a really important battle what was this like about two and a half years ago, and actually disaster was uh, my judge, but my opponent never showed up, so I never really got to mm-hmm. battle anybody. So this is, uh, you know, I had a chance, but that guy didn't come up. It is what it is, but uh, yeah, so this is technically my first battle, but in terms of, like, battling freestyling, I've been doing that since I was 13. Right. Okay. That's what's up. Yeah, I watched your battle. Um, uh, with uh, I don't remember his name, but uh, uh, lyrically gifted. <laughs> was you was you doing was you jumping in and out your your written like because I I know you was yeah I was there, like you was jumping in and out. Yeah, man, I was. Uh, honestly, I didn't give my hundred percent on that battle just because uh, I did I did uh, freestyle a lot of my material, but um, I feel mm-hmm. like a lot of my material went over people's heads. I'm not just saying, I know a lot of fools say that a lot of cats say that, like, and try to use an excuse, but uh, I'm going to be real with you, man. Like it, he didn't take that W like, you know what I mean? Like they gave him that W it is what it is, but I came through in a different angle. I feel like I attacked him in a different approach. I was more interested. You know, that's cool. You know, I get the whole sexist thing. The thing is, like, if you're going to do that, be intricate about it. You know, he was being contradictive on, on like, oh, I want to, you know, have sex with you. Then I don't side. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? So I know where I would. You know, I definitely this time around, like, I already, I'm already done with my writings right now. I'm in the process of memorizing them. But, but the thing is, I didn't take, I didn't take a, how do you, no slack for this one at all. Um, you know, I'm a real lyricist, you know, an intricate one at that. And I don't have no ghostwriter for me. <laughs> this is mm-hmm. all me. So, you know, um, but yeah. yeah, that was like my first battle. So it was tight, you know, I, you know, it was cool. Well, all I, this is, this is my critique about you. I'm just gonna, you know, that's, this is how I am. I'm not, I'm not uh, uh, evil with my critique. You know, I, I, I like what you was doing. Um, in this platform, because this is the, the, the setting that you haven't been doing. This is like your first time in this setting, acapella. Um, yeah. Try to, if you do freestyle, try to have your freestyle transition to where. Yeah, I know, because you use freestyle and go back into your written. Now, if you see a DNA-type person, 
or a Sharon, sometimes you can barely tell they're freestyling because their transition between freestyle and their written is flawless. And for those who like to freestyle that way, that's all I ask for for my ears, that the transition is more clear and more clean. Um, Also, stare your opponent in the eye always. Don't write to them camera niggas. Don't 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 write to the camera. You have to look at that man in his eyes and rap to him. That's all Word. I got. It wasn't it wasn't Word. bad at all, but you know. So um hold on, let me get this uh, hold on. So yeah, I wanna introduce and welcome Strick to Hold It Up Radio. Um, I appreciate you coming on, sir. No doubt, man. Appreciate y'all having me. No, no problem, man. I'm just waiting on my uh, co-host real quick. He should be calling up here pretty soon. But all right, so uh, let, let's talk about it, man. Uh, let me let me ask Nubia. Hey, how do you feel about this uh, this LA BG event? Oh, man, I'm stoked. It's uh, going to be dope. You know, we have a bunch of dope names on there, and you know what I mean? Uh, it's a domestic violence card, you know, so it's about, to get, it's about to get pretty gnarly, man. You know, I'm blessed for this opportunity when Alcatraz called me, you know. Um, uh, I feel like I'm the first female MC from San Diego to be representing on such a platform like this, so, you know, I've been hit it hard, and, you know, I'm here to show cats, you know, it's not about being a female and doing gay-ass gun bars. It's actually having some, you know, some dope, dope, dope-ass dope schemes and, you know, coming in clutch, you know, with my fist up. And uh, I'm going to just mm-hmm. keep growing and learning, you know. I'm coming in humbly, but I also know who my worth is and that guy money, you know. He's about to get his manhood taken away from him, and I'm ready. <laughs> oh, man. All right, off the gate. All right. Um. Well, well, that's a good look for you as a person that only has one uh, official uh, um, battle um, to be on LABG, um, and especially represent San Diego. You know what I mean? So uh, that's a that's a good look for you. Um, a lot of people, you must have had something for them to be like, you know, I'm going to give her a shot. You know, because there's a lot of MCs out here. You know what I mean? So, uh, I'm glad I was able to, you know, able to see a, a, see your battle and get to, you know, go on this journey with you since this is your first battle. So, you know, I'll be in the building. You know what I mean? So, Word. I can't wait. Uh, so, Mr. Strick, sir, how you feeling, sir? You talking about battle? <laughs> how you feeling, man? How you how you feeling right now? Well, I feel like if I were to go back to Bonnie's first battles ever, like, because, you know, they got, like, 12 views total. Like, the first battle Bonnie ever did, she's not special. So whatever battle she first did, Ghost Rider or not, she had, like, a total of 12 views, and she, like, Sold her soul for those twelve views. But anyways, past that, like if I go to her first battle and I steal, like real, I'm just saying, like if I go to like Bonnie Godiva's first live battle and I steal her whole round, the crazy part is I didn't even steal Bonnie Godiva's material. <laughs> I just, I don't even, I don't even know whose material I just stole. I stole a random person's material. That's crazy, bro. Uh, I don't even know whose oh, material man. I just stole, but it wasn't Bonnie Godiva's. I stole somebody's shit, but I ain't steal her shit. Mm. That's all I'm saying. Mm. 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 Is this going to be one of your angles? Are you are you going to even test this angle? I didn't want to, but I have to. It's one of those situations, my dude, where I feel like the world's waiting for it. You know what I mean? And really, just to be real, she's a hoe for that. Like, I, I wouldn't be me if I didn't at least tell her, you're a hoe for that. You know like, I have to, bro. Right. Like, that there's no way right. I can right. not tell her that she's a hoe for that, bro. Like, I have to tell her she's a hoe for that, cause she's a hoe for that. Right. 
Broke is saying, she said, look, her apology note said, uh, I had my back against the wall. And what does that mean? Haven't we all? You know what I'm saying? Like, right? Isn't that what battle rap's kind of about? Having your motherfucking back against the wall? Like, ain't that kind of what the, the whole sport was based upon? Like, just a little bit? I'm just saying, man, that, that whole yep. apology was cornered to me, bro. And I only did it because I had my back against the wall. To me, I'm just saying, I'm not saying it, it translates to every aspect of her life, bro, but to me, that I had my back against the wall, and that's why I did it, that sounds like some old snitch-ass, bitch-ass shit, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I didn't want to, but I had to snitch on y'all. The police had my back against the wall. Like, get the fuck out of here. I don't want to hear that shit, man. Like, fuck your I had my back against the wall excuse. That shit's corny, man. Yeah. Yeah, and then if I you want to get really deep saying. with it, if you want to get really deep with it, she said she re- – I'm just saying, bro, I, I just break shit down from what you tell me. She said she reached out to a lifelong friend, right? Not just reached out to somebody. She said she reached out to a lifelong friend. And don't get me wrong, lifelong – I'm just saying. Get your bitch ass from around me with that whole ass shit. Anyway, uh – Lifelong friends will fuck you over sometimes, but, like, for a motive. You know what I mean? Like, that fool might fuck your baby mama or something. You see what I'm saying? Like, he, he right. a lifelong friend might fuck you over, but, like, he going to benefit from it. He ain't going to just try to do it. So Bonnie says she reached out to right. a lifelong, like, you've been fucking with this fool for, like, 20 years? And this fool don't respect you enough to, like, I'm just, come on, man. As, either way, it's a loss. That's an L either way. you. I don't care what you say. You yeah. reached out to a lifelong yeah. friend, and that fool gave you stolen internet text battle bars? Now, that's a law. Right. Bro. That's an L. Right. You have to hold that L regardless. That's a worse L than saying I did it. That's a fact. To me. That's a fact. That's a fact. Like, this fool been fucking you for I, I, 20 years of your whole real life, and he fucked you over for a battle rap check. <laughs> I'm just, come on. Like, even if it's true, right. that's crazy. Like, you're still losing. Yeah. I don't know. That's how I, I would do it, rather my no show. I would rather no show than have a ghostwriter. Okay. Where so I would show if my up. Ghostwriter, if my ghostwriter gave me some stuff that he he stole, I'm like my nigga such and such was my ghostwriter. The ghostwriter hey, has a ghostwriter. Hey, this is my thing, my dude. Like. This it, it, just—it's not just battle rap, but it's the world. Period. You're gonna have people who are cut from that same cloth, or however you want to call it. They just think and react to life the same way, and they're gonna start fucking with each other. And I don't care what nobody say, bro. We all sharpen like iron sharpens iron, bro. Like we all run our shit by each other. We all give each other ideas. Like I don't care what nobody says. There's not a battle rapper out there rapping right now that hasn't ran his shit by somebody and got some kind of critique. You know what I mean? Like, it just don't exist. My thing is, you did it in such a... Like, you didn't even care enough to get away with it. Like, you just did it sloppily. You just dry-ass stole some shit. You ain't spar. You ain't nothing. You just straight-up stole some shit. That's crazy, bro. It's just... It's a whole different level to it. Like, to me... I got you, my dude. Go ahead. No doubt. It's just a whole other level, my dude. Yeah, I don't understand. And, and it was like damn near, uh, it was a lot of time cool that, 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 she told, that it was stolen. Like, I don't understand, like, how you can be so comfortable to write somebody else's words. That's why she don't got no delivery, though. It, it's hard to be, I'm good on the change. It's hard to be comfortable spitting somebody else's shit. How you gonna be yourself spitting somebody else's shit? That's why Bonnie ain't never had no delivery. I'm just saying, think about it. That's been her critique since she started. She's had bars, other people's bars, but she's had bars since she started. Even though they were stolen or lended or whatever the fuck you want to call it, a lot of them stolen. (laughs) We can't even call it anything but stolen, but no matter what she had, she never had delivery. She never had performance. It's because she, she don't feel comfortable how you going to be yourself spitting somebody else shit? You can't, bro. Like, she don't feel comfortable. That's why her delivery is always weird. That's in my opinion. Her delivery is always fucked up because how you going to get in your zone spitting somebody else's shit? You can't. You can't get in your zone. You can just 
try your best to get in they zone. And that's still just trash. Right. But I'm just saying, that's why, and that's been her critique since she started. Bonnie Godiva has a weird yeah. delivery. Because she's doing some weird battle rap shit. You know what I mean? Like, she's just stealing bars right. or taking bars. Or... She's trash to me, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I thought about freestyling against that bitch. Only reason I didn't is because I fuck with LABG. Mm-hmm. Right. That's, I Honestly, thought about ghostwriting is excuse with that. Like, I feel like people, a lot of people these days critique or people involved in battle rap, they, they take it, I mean, that's them, you know, but speaking for myself, dude, and having respect for the culture, having respect for myself, most importantly, you know, uh, like you said, you can't borrow someone's gun and act hard, but yet yeah, you're, you're, you're putting it to their face, but then coming that time when it starts to pull it, you can't because it's not your gun, that wasn't ever your life, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's retarded. It's like, mm-hmm. it's basically for me, ghost writing is like me right now dressing like a blood and banging blood, but then coming crunch time, I freaking run. That, that to me, that's how I see ghost writers. Like, even in music, to be honest with you, anything. Ghost writing and anything. I don't really go for that crap, you know? Like, at all. Like, maybe for, like, R&B singers or something, yeah. but as a rapper, like, you know, we come from a culture where it's like, dude, we're rapping because of what we're going through, what we see from our personal perspective. I know we could talk about Biggie and how he raps about stuff that he never did, but his homies were thugs, you know what I mean, or whatever. But the thing is, like, this is battle rap. I mean, you know, like you're you're not gonna borrow someone else's pen and paper. You know, you, you kind of yeah. basically might as well come out with a notebook. To me, it's like if you're gonna if you're gonna do that, why don't you bust a cannabis and come out with your with your hundred pages? I'm just saying, how you have a yeah. lifelong friend that fuck you like that, like for no motive. Like, what does he benefit <laughs> by doing that? Like, you had to have a piece of shit lifelong friend for like 20 years. Like, you befriended this piece of shit human being. For 20 years, what does that say about you? Right. And real shit, just right. be real. Bonnie's smarter than that, bro. Bonnie's not no dumbass bitch. You know what I mean? Like, Bonnie's smart. Like, I don't even care what Bonnie did to get her, like, I don't, uh, to be really honest, I don't care, like, if she had a ghostwriter. It's just she's my opponent now, and it's been put in the spotlight. Like, I have to dissect you. You asked right. her, did you agree to it? And then somebody said some crazy shit about you, and now you have to live up to it, like. To be honest with you, I fuck with Bonnie. I think her movement is dope. I think that was a really horrible move. Whether she, I think she stole it. Just to be honest, that's my opinion. Yeah. But whether she stole it or did whatever she did, I feel like that was a horrible move well, no. for her. But I fuck with Bonnie. I think she's dope. But you can't battle me if having all these let, fucking. If they, hey, if they can let let uh, Prez Mafia back in, bro. Anybody can yeah, get. No. They might as well just let her back in it. Because that was more uh, disrespectful nah, than anything. Nah, the whole nah, press it, thing, it, a whole burst and a nah, hook, my nigga. Like, nah, There's a whole <laughs> different lane, though, bro. You got to understand, Press Mafia just did some fuck boy shit. Fuck it. Like, it's understandable. Sometimes, sometimes people going to do some fuck boy shit. Like, we all know that. The thing is, the stigma for every female battle rapper who's been close to dope, like, the stigma behind them is they have a ghostwriter. You know what I'm saying? That's Nobody true. ever proved it. It's just the stigma behind every female. We automatically think you can't fuck with it like we do. So if a female is dope, like the just the understood assumption is somebody else wrote it for you, right? So Bonnie didn't introduce that to the world, but she cemented it. You know what I mean? Like they already saw it and mm-hmm. you proved it right. Like you're the reason that it's now valid. It was always just the undertone. People said it, but That's under their true. breath. Now people, now people can say it out loud because yeah. of you. Like you're the reason people can have confidence behind that whole ass shit they already saw. It. I'm just, it's, it's crazy, bro. I don't know. It was just a corny move. Now, look, hey, hey, I is, think she's dope, but that was a corny move. No matter how it happened, that this was, is my, this, it was a bad decision. This is my thinking. This is my thinking right here. You know how life. You know, okay. When Bill Cosby got hit with the whole sexual harassment shit, right? He was pretty much the first one that that, that started the trickle the trickle effect that, that everybody else is getting hit, right? So do you think motherfuckers going to start now coming out with this person has a ghost writer, this person has a ghost writer? 
So it, it's not – look, it's my thing. All right, look. And it just – my opinion, bro, I don't care what nobody says. Like, if you're a real fan, like, I feel like you're a real fan. If you're a real fan, bro, like, you care. I care, you care, and people I know care. If we're going to talk about yeah. the majority of the fan base, bro, they don't give a fuck. They're looking at performance. Yeah. Like, Prez Mafia, perfect example. That fool stole some whole shit. If he comes back and has one fire performance and you can't prove he stole nothing, all of a sudden he's fire again. That's not how it should go. And I'm not knocking him. I'm just saying that's not how it should go, bro. That's not how that shit should go, bro. But people do it all the time. Right. They're like, <clears throat> we're not really objective. We just want fire material. So I wouldn't really care. But it's just, I don't know, bro. It just gets to the point where it's corny, bro. Like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like, be certain so- people, I wouldn't care if they did it, if I felt they really did that lifestyle and they weren't really creative enough right. to make the bars or whatever. Like, I wouldn't care as much. I would still feel like, oh, you're not a dope rapper. Whoever writes for you is dope. But I would at least appreciate the fact that he's really from that lifestyle. And, you know, my, if he had the entertainment value, like, I would appreciate some about it versus appreciate right. nothing about it. Nubia, how do you feel? How do you feel about um, the stigma for female battle rap? And yeah, do let you me just think y'all. Let, let me let me get your opinion because you're you're new. You you got you walking right into all this. Word. Uh, how do I feel about uh, the female MC battle rappers? Yeah, and they're, you know, so-called ghostwriting and what Biden did and all this other stuff. Honestly, it was, it's, you know, it's disappointing, you know, uh, but who am I? Here's the thing. It's so easy to pinpoint Bonnie, but it's like how many other cats have have had ghostwriters who are guys, you know what I mean? The thing, though, I what I'm, what I'm here to do, and this is just speaking for myself, I can't speak for... Money. I can't speak for coffee. I can't speak for for anybody. You know, I can't speak for nobody but Nubia Styles. The thing with me is like I I want to show people like it don't matter if you have a clit, if you have a dick. What matters is who you are. And I'm trying to break that boundary because I feel like I broke it enough in my city. Now it's time for me to prove a point over there. Like for instance, L.A. Battlegrounds. You know, I'm not going to come in there, you know, fucking like, oh, I'm the shit, you know, like how money came in and shit. No, 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 no. I'm going to let my bar speak for me and, you know, let you guys critique it, whatever. But I know for the fact is, is that I love hip hop, man. I love hip hop. I live, I breathe this shit. When I say this is more than battle rap, it is like, you know, this is something you know, this is on that loaded Lux type shit, you know, or, you know, B dot type shit, daylight type shit, as in terms of of me actually wanting to be there within my community, but setting an example, not by words, but by actions, you know, I love hip hop, but I love hip hop enough to not just let that battle rap or being a rapper feed, feed my ego so much. I forget where my soul is, you know, um, well, I read, I study, you know, I'm not trying to say, oh, I'm higher than thou. No, I'm not, you know, I'm just a student of life, dude, you know, and I'm just crafting my, my craft, which is right. seeing. And, you know, I'm, I just want to shut these guys up. Let me be honest with you. <laughs> I'm coming in, I'm coming in, I'm coming in like that. And, it's, and, and, and cause you know what, I do have stuff to prove, you know, as, as a new artist and as a, uh, uh, yeah, I may I may be known in my city, but like I said, you know, I got a lot to prove to the whole world, you know. But most importantly, I got shit to prove to myself, you know. So it's not, hey, you know, uh, I, I just can't I wait to. to... No, I just can't wait to uh, grow, you know. <laughs> Twice, yeah. Twice, um. I'm high. <laughs> no, no, then I'm high, and my timing is like super off. Now, but I was gonna say, my thing is, if you're gonna rap, like. I already feel like you're dope. Yeah, I watched the one battle you did. You definitely beat him, which ain't saying much. Not because you didn't do good, just because that fool is butt cheeks. You know what I mean, like he's fucking absolute fucking <laughs> trash. But that you definitely right. killed him. But my only advice to you is, don't black like everybody blacks out a little bit, but don't black out so much that you're not paying attention to what's happening. Like, don't make weird mm-hmm. pauses in your rounds, but if the crowd starts going crazy, stop rapping. Like, you know what I mean? Don't try to go over them. That's what we rap for. That's how I feel. Like, that's what I rap for. If I say some dope okay. shit and the crowd goes crazy, 
by all goddamn means, get your fucking crazy out. That's what I rap for. Like, what are we talking about? That's my payment. I'm rapping to yeah. make you lose your fucking shit. So I'm just saying a lot of people make that mistake, though. They get out there and they rap, and they just rap real fast. They just punch, punch, punch. They're just trying to get their material out. They're worried about time. They're worried about a bunch of shit. But my thing is if the crowd goes crazy, it's time for you to stop for a second. Don't run it all the way back, but run your last line back and keep going. But uh, allow the crowd to react to you. If you just keep rapping, they're, they're going to stop reacting. That's real shit. I've seen it happen. I've seen the crowd try to yeah. fuck with people, and then that fool keeps rapping and keeps rapping. Eventually, he's still saying dope shit, but it, it, it's crowd participation. It, it's what you feel. Like, you tried to interact with him. He just kept rapping. You don't feel that same energy no more. Like, I don't know. There's so many aspects that I'm learning slowly, but sure, I'll be missing a lot of that shit in my own battles. But there's so much shit that comes into factor as far as what the crowd feels like. No, it's true, though. You know, it's adapting and adjusting. You know, like you said, like me and you, we had that conversation, you know, um, and uh, I'm learning, and, you know, I appreciate, you know, the the critique because, you know, I know it's coming from a place of uh, respect for the culture, and it's true. You know, as much as we're timed and shit and we want to put all of it from our beginning bar to the last bar, like, and punch it, sometimes, yeah, it's good to let the crowd feel that punch and then let them have a black eye and look at the mirror and be like, ah, ha, ha, she fucked me up, and then put the mirror down and start again. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's performance, it's delivery, it's, you know, it's bars, it's, it's, it's having, yeah, it's everything, and it's putting those well, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a way that's your own and unique. But also, like, you know, I mean, flowing with the frequency. You said it best, though. Like, it took me, and crazy as it sounds, like, I like to think I'm a kind of smart person, but it took me forever to understand the simple concept that it is everything. You know what I mean? Like, it's everything included. Like, so much small shit matters, and it took me such a long time to realize that people thrive off that. You know what I mean? Like, I just rap and talk how I feel. It took me forever to realize that there's so many small little fucking stupid trivial ass things that matter. Though you know, like everybody's looking at dumb shit. Like you know what I mean? It took me forever to learn that. But going into the battle, understanding that everything matters makes it a little bit easier. Maybe I haven't even got to practice that yet. I battled YK and I swore I was going to be like super aggressive and shit, but. We were the last battle. We were the main event. It was like two o'clock in the morning. I don't have a lot. Yeah. I don't have a lot of. Yeah, yeah. I don't have a lot of oomph left in me, bro. Like I don't. Like I don't even feel aggressive. I, I feel hate sleepy. those long battles. <laughs> yeah, I hate those bro, long battles. Bro, I feel sleepy. Man. It's like an all day event. <laughs> all right, hold on. Let me get my co-host on real quick. Um, oh shit. Hey, yo, Niagara. What's popping? I'm tapped in. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. tapped I'm in. No, no, I'm high. I just completely hey, misinterpreted. Hey, me too. Me too. No, I'm mis- no, he said Niagara. He's obviously talking to somebody who's just joining, but he said Niagara. The only thing in my high self yeah. thought I was like, ooh, I'm pretty sure it's Nibia. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said Niagara, dog. Oh, my God. No, no, no. See, I laugh. Niagara, I laugh. Niagara, Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls no. is her name. That's it. Bro, you know I'm high. Yes. Yeah, bro. I'm I'm just, I heard, hey, me I heard, too. No lie. I can't wait to see Strick break Bonnie all the way down. Because if you know Strick, Strick goes in on you. You know what I mean? He'll find all that good angles. He'll direct it towards you. And that's that's where it lays. You know what I mean? And this is going to be the first time he battles a girl. Because I was going to ask him this question if he ever battled a chick. Because I don't remember seeing him battle a girl. But um, this is going to be something new for him. And plus, whatever what, this bullshit that happened with Bonnie, I'm sure he's going to be in his bag. So this is like one of the battles I, I, I want to see. This one. The Tory doing daylight because I know that's going to be a very disrespectful battle. And coffee, clean coffee. 
You know what I mean? That was the first three. Them were the three before I even, you know, went to go check you out, Nubia. Um, I know Dopey. I like Dopey. Um, but these these top three right here, these are the bad. This is the battle that I feel like this is gonna. It's gonna it's gonna be good, man. It's gonna be. I can't wait to be in the building with this one, man. I know I'm gonna be high as fuck, so I'm gonna probably not try to smoke as much, so I can catch all the bars. Cause I I know I'm gonna be out there on some Cali shit, and I this this Kansas City shit is not where it's at. You know what I mean? Word word. Yeah, uh, this guy Money or whatever, oh, yeah. he's uh, he's really uh, how do you say it? He's he's, I don't know. He has too much uh, too much energy, not enough bars to back it up. So, you know, I just hope he what, comes so at me correctly. You, what you call, what you call that? What you call that battle? What do I call, call what? Call it, you go two one. How you call that battle for you and him? For two me and him. You gonna thirty him? <laughs> Yeah, I feel I feel like what I have, bro, honestly, and like the perform, like the how do you say it? Not just my bars, but you know the delivery that I planned on doing it, and you know uh, coming from uh, you know my last battle and what I learned from there and stuff like that. I feel like I'm gonna get him good, man. You know I'm gonna take that W, bro. You know as in terms of a three O, I mean shit, why not? But for sure, a, a two-one. If there's one that I could bet, a two-one. You know, uh, and I feel like that'd be a two-one, and that'd be even close that he even got that one. The thing is, like he has, like I said, he has all right bars, but I seen his battles. His his energy is too much up there for his bars to be down there. Right. So, um, and you know, like I said, I gotta prove myself. So honestly, dude, I can't wait. You know. Because after this, you know, yeah. I know I'm just going to go up. You know, I want to money. Like, this ain't even to prove to money. This is to prove to myself and to, you know, the people, the crowd, and uh, the fans right. of battle rap. You know, money, this ain't about you. <laughs> Don't feel special because it ain't. <laughs> it ain't about you. <laughs> like, that fool's a stepping stone. Like, this fool's a fucking uh, a doormat to, to enter a new door. <laughs> like, honestly. That's a fact. And, uh, That's true, though. That's true, though. Cause you get more, you you get a good look on LABG. Cause look at Coffee, Coffee. I think she's on her fifth. This would be her fifth battle. She's right. already undefeated. She's undefeated, and she got Danny Myers. Yep. Coffee is dope. That's a good look. Yeah, that dude. Look. Yeah, I know. Oh. Her and Danny Myers. That's gonna be pretty, dude. That's gonna be dope. I'm happy for her. You know, coming from. You know, I hate to sound sexist once again, you know, but just, just in general, you know, because it is a domestic violence part. And it's tight to see that, like, yeah. you know, we got cats like, you know, Daylight, Danny, you know, uh, Strick, yeah. and, you know, we got dope ass yeah. seats, you know, on both ends, you know, so they could see, you know, let's take away the sexist shit. Let's really see who comes with the bar and just doesn't just come in all sloppy and go the easy way out. So it's going to be very interesting, man. You know, it's dope. Like I said, like, hell yeah, man, this is my second battle and I'm already on this card. And there's no way up from here other than up, you know, the blessing. Right. Who, who on this card, you, what what battle are you looking for to, to look uh, to see in? <laughs> honestly, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to, I, honestly, I'm looking forward a lot to a daylight battle. To the Daylight and Tory battle. Daylight, and Tory. Daylight is one of the, yeah. yeah. Daylight's one of those cats, man. That I rock with, bro. Like I don't care. He's weird and all that, whatever. You know, this guy for me, I, I represent the same thing he represents, and that's waking waking my people up. You know, and right, uh, right. you know, I, I was like, what? When Elka trusted me up, you know, I was like, hell yeah, bro. Like I had my respect for him. I had, and then we got Danny Myers on the card, and you know. Uh, we got Tori, you know what I mean? So it's going to be dope, you know what I mean? It's just tight to be, mm-hmm. you know, it's true when they say that, uh, you know, uh, energy, you know, it's, it's not a game, you know what I mean? You you are who you kick it with, you are who you work with in a way, you know? So, pretty dope. Right. 
Yeah, yeah. that's the one uh, I want to see. Uh, Sapo. I can't even lie. Is that who you want to see, Daylight and Tori Doe? I got to see that Daylight and Tori Doe, man, because, like, to be honest, like, I'm not really, like, too much of a Daylight fan, uh, but I do feel like, like, the little antics and stuff that he pulled, I feel, I feel like that's different. You know, the way he do stuff. And then Tori, I've always been a real big fan of Tori. So I'm like, just to see those two styles clash, it's going to be very interesting. <laughs> yes. Well, I, I'm going to let everybody know. I was a, I was a Daylight. Uh, I am a Daylight fan. I like Daylight. Um, there are some of his antics I don't condone. I didn't condone. Like, uh, I'm not going to be dressing up in a dress with an AK, my nigga. Pulling, pulling up, pulling out his D was the only thing I didn't really. I'm like, okay, this is going too far. Yeah, yeah, I know he's yeah. done, he's done some some crazy things, you know. And I get everyone has their perception, you know what I mean? Like, uh, it's it's, it's crazy though, he's man. When it just he's yeah, my top word. Ten, no. oh. same. You know what? Seeing seeing his uh, battle with uh, forty bars, like you know, it, it makes me excited to see this battle. <laughs> yeah, because that battle, that 40. battle was. Yeah, exactly. Because that battle was dope. You know, to me, that was one of those battles that highlighted for me a guy against girl because they both went in. You know, so yeah, I feel like good. it's gonna be the same. It's going to be the same, but of course, in their own, in uh, Tori's own outlet and the way he, because he posted on, on Instagram too. He's like, yo, shout out to my queen. Sorry, not sorry, but I'm going to kill this bitch. <laughs> and I was like, oh. I was, I was like, okay, Daylight, he's putting his mask on then. All right, try it, try it, bro. All right then, man. Because, you know, we've seen his battle with Mikey Fax and he, he had that one round where he spoke to the world. That shit was hard. The thing is like, you know, I don't know, that's his shit. Maybe you know, it's kinda of the same way how I told you about with Pat's Day. How like, oh, you know, you kinda of stop trying and you only do half pass because, you know, you still get that respect just because of what I mean, at least in your opinion. You know, I just hope that daylight, you know, yeah, talk to talk to your people, bro, you know, that's what I respect about you. But talk to Tori too. Respect her as an artist, you know what I mean? That's my thing. It's like if I'm gonna take a battle it's going to be because I respect the craft and I also, I'm going to, I'm going to really hit at the artist, you know, I'm not just going to, that's why when I told money, I'm like, Hey dog, just cause I'm a girl and I'm not really known. Don't, don't, don't take me lightly either. Come at me hard, bro. Like this is your shot too. I want you to put in the work that I did in your own format, you know, and it's like boxing, man, you know, like <laughs> you're not, you're not just going to hit these, you know, I don't know, but it's going to be really tight, man. I'm fucking stoked to see this and to be a part of it. 